Show y'all all that. Nigga. Shalom. 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 Before we get started, as always, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, Yahweh be the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world we know is God, Jehovah and Yahweh. Yahweh Shai be the name of His only begotten Son, our King, Lord and Savior, whom the world even we know is Jesus Christ. Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, is in the name of the Holy Spirit. It's the inspiration given us to edify those and to give them the ears to hear. Double honors to the apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect brethren, faithful and diligently preaching his word with fear and trembling. Shalom to the believers that subscribe and listen to this truth wholeheartedly through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, with the GMS Memphis Count, got a uh, special guest brother, Isaac, from the GMS Raleigh, North Carolina <coughs> Count. And uh, we just got a live lesson, as you see, we've entitled Bread, Circus, and Distractions from Woes. All right? Bread, Circus, and Distractions from Woes. Matter of fact, let's get that. Uh, we opened the, uh, uh, when we opened the book, it was full of Lamentations, Mourners, and Woes. Let's get that. Oh, yeah. You know, because uh, we see everything unfolding, uh, like Sunday, you know, uh, this brother Yakanun, I now myself, we get the lesson. Uh, judgment is unfolding. Uh, pray for a few days. And masses of the people's minds are not focused uh, on the lamentations, the mournings, and woes of this world. Matter of fact, their minds are focused on everything else. Uh, with the elites, you know, they bring forth a lot of enchantments, a lot of left hand sorcery. Uh, has occupied the minds of these people, especially you Jakes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Spanish, because you are the ones whose mind the elites consume the most with the media, right? And the word media itself goes back to a, a demon, right? And, uh, you know, you got the NFL, you got the NBA, you got the the boxing, you got all these different uh, celebrity and entertainers, uh, comedy, comedy, comedy shows. You know, everything is going on to keep Jake occupied on everything that they're supposed to be, uh, every, on everything except for what they're supposed to be occupied in, and that's prophecy, mm -hmm. right? Now, within this book, it's a whole uh, plethora of prophecies and judgments. And most of the judgments consist of what? Lamentations, mournings, woes. So uh, let's open up with that and we're going we're gonna to get into it. Uh, Ezekiel, all right? This is the book, uh, Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 9. And when I looked, behold, an hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein, mm -hmm. and he spread it before me, mm -hmm. and there was written... Within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. So the prophet, prophet Ezekiel said when he opened up the scrolls, on the front and the back was written throughout lamentations, mournings, and woes. Mm -hmm. When you really get into the thick of the Lord's judgment within the Holy Bible, through and through, from the front to the back, it's a book of lamentations, mournings, and woes. Specifically, specifically pertaining to the nation of Israel, right? Mm -hmm. right? Because at the end of the day, that's where judgment is going to begin. Because that's where judgment has always rested. You know, where it said, uh, "Is it not, oh Israel? Is it not for you to know judgment? It is." Mm -hmm. But Esau, Edom. Give me Jeremiah uh, nine. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yep. In Jeremiah nine and six. Thy habitation is in the midst of deceit. Uh -huh. Through deceit, they refuse to know me. And through deceit, you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, you refuse to know the judgment of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. 
the main way that the elites keep you from knowing your heart by shimmy how shy is by keeping you entertained. Mm -hmm. You got it. It said, um, the habitation is in the midst of deceit. Through deceit, they refuse to know me, said the Lord. Yeah. yeah, so when you really look at what's going on uh, in the East, right, we're going to get Joel, right? The Valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shepat, which means the Most High's judgment, okay? We just had uh, American troops, uh, me and the brother was speaking about it a little bit off camera, uh, get judged over there uh, in Jordan, right? Yeah, I think they said you had two soldiers that got killed and 25 wounded. Which, you know, that's just the numbers they give us. We really don't know how many people uh, are suffering all together, all right, dying all together in these uh, in these wars that's going on right now, all right? But it has been estimated uh, approximately 400,000 Ukrainian uh, soldiers were put to death, mm. all right? That's a lot, man. That's over. That's, that, that's almost a half a million men. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We can get Isaiah too. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Got more. Yeah, just uh, just the uh, title of this article from CNN. Okay. It said three U.S. troops killed in drone attack and Jordan more than thirty injured. Yeah. So it went from two to twenty-five to three to thirty. I know mm -hmm. when I seen it, it said two and twenty-five. So they always playing with the numbers. You know, mm -hmm. you really don't really know what the real numbers are, but we do know this, as the scriptures say, behold, speaking to the ears of my people, the words of prophecy, mm -hmm. right? It said, the Lord shall bring plagues upon the earth, uh, uh, famine, the, the sword, famine, famine death, death, and destruction, destruction. all right? And the scriptures speak about how the Lord's judgment is going to foretell uh, a lot of death, mm -hmm. all right, a lot of bloodshed, right? It's Isaiah 66 said what? The uh, slain of the Lord shall be many. Mm -hmm. Right? And reading second verse, it said, There'll be many more of them that perish and shall be saved. Now, uh, matter of fact, get that in Ecclesiastes in the NLT. Mm -hmm. uh, I know. Uh, and you can get what you guys are. Uh, yeah. You know that uh, a wise man thinks a lot about death. Okay. Right? Because mm -hmm. you, you, you'll get a lot of people who are not in tune with the Holy Spirit. They'll watch these lessons that we do and they'll see that. Uh, we're just the bearers of bad news, it seems like. Well, the fact of the matter is, when you read Ezekiel 7 chapter, it says, evil and only evil is come. Right? The days are evil. Okay? <laughs> the days are, are evil, man. And so what you're going to see is a lot of people suffering, being put to death, a lot of uh, weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. Right? <laughs> And that's because the, the the mood that the Lord in, is in right now, he's in the he's in the mood for judgment. He's angry. Mm -hmm. that's it. You know, it's not uh, a time where the Lord is uh, pleased with the inhabitants of the earth. Matter of fact, the scriptures say the Lord has a controversy with the the inhabitants of the earth, and specifically it says because there is no knowledge of the Most High, no judgment, no mercy, no knowledge of the Most High, man. Y'all got it. Uh, <coughs> uh, just real quick, scripture said the most high is angry at the wicked every, every day. day. But um, this is um Second Corinthians four and three. But if our gospel, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Right, the God of this world being who Esau Edom. Right, the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. All right, and the word Satan means adversary, so he's adverse to the righteous judgment mm -hmm. of your heart by your heart shot. And right. the most high, all right, he has given us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to open our eyes up to the kingdom of heaven. Okay, because when it's all said and done, the end all be all of this world is going to be a thermonuclear destruction. Mm -hmm. And thermal nuclear destruction must cleanse this land of all the filth and all of the of the of the bloodshed, all the abominations, so that the kingdom of heaven can uh be set up on earth. This kingdom of heaven can't be built upon the foundation of this current system, this current world, mm -hmm. right? 
because uh, light and darkness can have uh, no communion. Light and darkness uh, can't uh, abide together, mm -hmm. right? You got it, bro. This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Mm -hmm. least, least the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. So at least the image, right, of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh Shai, which is this word, said, Lord, I come in the value of the book. It is written to me to do thy will, O Yahweh Power. Mm -hmm. Right? So this light is the word in this holy Bible. Right? Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai is, uh, he's the embodiment of these scriptures. All right? The embodiment of these, uh, of the, the, the words of this holy Bible is the embodiment of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. It's his DNA. It's what it's made of. And this is the righteous judgment of the heavenly Father. So when you get through, uh, you know, uh, going about your everyday lives and not paying this any attention, yeah. guess what's going to happen? It's going to hit you smack dab in the face. You're going to come to a roadblock of judgment. You're going to have to meet your maker, right? Give me that Ecclesiastes, bro. What? Is that in 12? Four. It's 12 and 4? No, no, 7 and 4. 7 and 4? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. This is class D 7 and 4 in OT. A wise person thinks a lot about death. While a fool thinks only about having a good time. Right, see, a fool only thinks about having a good time. We're going to say, go ahead and take these ass, these 10, y'all can learn. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> well, that it? Yes, it, if I may say, um, because we understand that death is coming, right? So mm -hmm. we understand, you know, when you, 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 understanding that you must prepare your mind to see a lot of death. You must prepare your mind to see. A, a loss of children, you know, to prepare your mind to lose things. Yeah. Because Jake is not preparing their minds to lose these things to come, uh, these things that, uh, their comfortabilities, whatever they have in this world. So yeah. it's going to lead them to making rash and hasty decisions yeah. when they bring in this MOT to the B system yeah. because they're going to look at the system that they've been building this whole time as their answer, as their way out. Yeah. They're not going to see Yahweh by Shema Shai as the answer and who they need to trust in. Yeah. Um, they put their trust in their things. Mm -hmm. Put their trust in perishable things. <coughs> you got it, bro. And, and that's yep. why they are lost. That's why they lost. Yep. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and, and uh, verse 6. It says, Folly is set in great dignity. And the rich sit in low place. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you you can read the bro. I think you wanted you to read five. Oh, so yeah, I yeah. Arrow go up, yeah. go up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ecclesiastes ten and, and and verse five. It says, um, wait a minute. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. yeah okay. Five, yeah. It says, there is an evil which I have seen under the sun, as an error, which proceeded. From the ruler. Right, which the ruler of today's time is who? Esau, Esau. Edom. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the error is that he covers up judgment. Yep. The, 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 the uh, book of Job, the ninth chapter, with the mm -hmm. Job 9 and 24, right? It tells you the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, and he covers the faces of the judges thereof. Mm -hmm. So if he's covering the faces of the judges, he's covering the face of judgment overall. Mm -hmm. Right? And what does the scripture say? Ye do err not knowing the scriptures. Let's get that real quick before he finished reading. Yep. Ye do err not knowing the scriptures. I think it's in John. Yeah. I got it. Come. It's Matthew uh, 22 and 29. Come. Your house shall Elsa say unto them, Ye do err. Not knowing the scriptures, uh -huh. nor the power of the Most High. Nor the power of the Most High. Okay? So what's the power of the Most High? Prophecy. His word. Right? Uh, when, you, when you go to uh, uh, Revelation, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. right? Uh, is, is the spirit of prophecy, right? The words of the Most High is ultimately his 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 power, right? That's why this book, mm. the apostles was just talking about it. Uh, 
I don't know if that was this past camp or the camp before, but recently they was just speaking on how they Google what's the number one selling book of all time. It's still to this day the Holy Bible. Right. right? The most the most powerful book on the planet Earth is the Holy Bible. That's not a coincidence. Right. Right? Uh I have a quick one. Go ahead. Sorry, bro. Ecclesiastes 8 and 4 says, Where the word of a king is, there is power. Yep. And who may say unto him, What doest thou? Where the word of a king is, there is power. But see, you have to be the type of king that's able to stand on your word. Mm -hmm. And out of all the kings that have ever existed, none of them was able to stand on their word except for Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Every man that's ever existed that ever had any type of rulership or kingdom of a domain, in some parts his words fail. Mm -hmm. Right? But Jehovah Shimi Shai, give me Isaiah 55 and let Yakanon finish that first. Right? Okay. And then get Isaiah 55. Y'all know what I want. You got mm -hmm. something out? No, no, you got it. Alright, this is back in uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 6. It says, Follow you. read 5 again. So okay, come. Uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 5, there is an evil which I have seen under the sun as an arrow which proceeded from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low place. All right. And when you see the minds of these people, whenever you go to have a conversation with somebody in the world, all they ever talking about is folly. Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. man. They always talking about father. I know this brother know firsthand. Oh, yeah. Just do the type of work that you do. Yeah. You know, how many times you go to work and you hear somebody talking about something spiritual? Only time Jacob gets spiritual <laughs> is it is when is when it's something going on, like when the all when hell the, breaking loose. Yeah, all hell breaking loose. Jake gets serious, then. yeah. But uh, and their affliction they shall seek me early. Yep. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's like that's what the Lord said. And, and, and that's the only time Jake get concerned is when the most high apply pressure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and right. guess what he's gonna do? He yeah. finna apply pressure. Yeah. More and more. And this time, man, the next shutdown, you know, I don't see it being no mercy coming yeah. from this next shutdown, man. Yeah. Especially if it's what uh I've been reading about and hearing about, you know, this new zombie uh virus. You know, hey, yeah, <laughs> this one here gonna, gonna it's gonna take a lot of people out, man. Yeah, because you got a lot of people that have been uh juiced up from you know mm -hmm. that taking their venom, yeah, and 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 when they come with the the, the new one, you mm -hmm. know, it's it's gonna, yeah, man, the reaction is just, oh, hey. Well, we're going to move out the way. Yep. Have your way. Yep. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. 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 <laughs> Lord. Get out the way, man. Um, That's the idea. Oh, were you done? Yeah, I was done. You was done, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what verse? Six. Uh, verse 10. Oh, no, Isaiah right. 55 and uh, 6. Yep. Six? Six. Right. Yep. It's Isaiah 55 <coughs> and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yep. Call ye upon him while he is near. No, uh, my words not turning to me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, so keep going. Yeah, yeah. keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. 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 Hey, that is That's it, though. You gotta seek the Lord while he may, may be, be found, found man. Uh -huh. Now right. is the time. It yep. ain't the time to wait. Mm -hmm. Yep. Procrastinate when it, when it's no more folly. Right. You know, when, mm -hmm. they, when everything is shut down. Hey, like I'm holding uh Isaiah 24. You know, with the Murph. Yeah, yeah. The Murph is gone. Then Jake gets serious. Nah, man, you gotta mm -hmm. seek them now. Seek like, them early. Like a, um, like black women when they get up in age, they wanna settle down, mm -hmm. try to get married. Nah, yeah. you should've been doing it in yeah. your youth. In your youth, you know. Oh, yeah, that's a. Get that, get that, get that, get that. Just the spirit, because yeah. I was just about to tell him get that. He please ask these twelve and one. You know, because when it says seek the Lord while He may be found, right. it's talking about His mercy being found. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta. You got to turn back to the Lord now while he's still, you know, in the mode of giving mercy and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, allowing you to get some type of relief from this judgment that's coming, man. Hey, or some type of refuge, really, because that's what you're going to need. You're going to need a place of covering, man. At this yeah. time that's coming, hey, you're going to need some higher 
power to give you a covering, man. Right. Yeah. Right. You got it. If uh, I may say, because uh, we read that scripture, uh, these these men were saved through wisdom. The only way you can really escape the distractions and you know the the addictions of the food and you know uh, skid row out there in L.A. is through the name of Yahweh by Shema Shai and following those instructions of life that He gives us. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's why it's very important for our people to take heed to what uh, the Lord has His men uh, preaching about. You know, we prophesy on you, but what we also give you a solution on how to escape these things. That's what these uh, other troopers are not giving you. Yep. They're just reporting on to you the news. Now we give you the news with a solution. Right, yes, their sir. solution is really like calling call things like prepping and yeah, you know, going into bunkers and things of that mm -hmm. sort, which that's ultimately not going to save you, man. Nope. What y'all got bro? You want to, um, <coughs> class these He's asked these, and then you can go back to Isaiah or uh, Korah. Yeah, this is class these 12 and 1. Remember now that creator in the days of that youth, while the evil days come not, mm -hmm. nor the years draw not, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Mm -hmm. yep. Go ahead, Korah. If I may say. You can read verse 6 again, too. Because now people aren't really having pleasure in the society as much as they used to. You know, mm -hmm. that's why they're turning into doing more wickedness. Mm -hmm. right. You know, someone that used to just, you know, smoke weed and play video games. Now they got to get into doing orgies or out here. And, you know, they need a bigger thrill. You know, being a speed demon on the road. Right. You know, because these stimulations that Esau's put in society isn't working for them anymore. Yeah, it's just like a, a, a pothead. You know, he comes to get high every um, day. He trying to get to, get to the next level of, of high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so what? He turns to what? Uh, Molly's and perks. Yeah, yeah. hard yeah. drugs. Yeah, hard drugs. Yeah. That, once that wear off, you don't crack. And then, yeah. you know, so forth and so on. Yeah. Yeah. They always said uh, marijuana is a gateway yeah. drug. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. leads you to something else. Yeah. It's Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, and call ye upon him while he is near. See, Christmas, <laughs> you know my brother. John, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, brother, it's never too late mm -hmm. to get right with the Lord. Yeah. I, I said, what? Yeah, he believed it. He yeah. believed it. To this day, he believed he it. it. Yeah. What about uh, Noah? Right? Yeah. A lot. You know, we got many examples, Lord. Yeah. I'm going to get this, too. Go ahead. Isaiah 55 and 7, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, mm. and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. So let him repent and come back, you know, depart from evil and do good. Mm -hmm. So can I get this really quick? Mm -hmm. This is Jeremiah 13 and 16, and O.T., give glory to the Lord your power before it is too late. Woo! Mm. So before all hell break loose, you know, Jacob trouble, right? The famine and all that, the pestilence, mass uh, of death. Seek the Lord, you know, before it's too late, where he may be found. It said, acknowledge him before he brings darkness upon you. Yeah. You got some Israelite guys don't want to call on your house shot. Yeah. I say his name doesn't matter. They don't want to announce the son. Yeah. So it said, acknowledge him. Before he brings darkness upon you, mm -hmm. cause you to stumble and fall on the darkened mountains. Mm -hmm. For then, when you look for light, you will find only terrible darkness and gloom. So, and the light is the word. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. true. You have a shot the light, right? Yeah. 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 That's why I say, uh, scriptures say, how you going to run to and fro? It's the word. word. Yeah. Looking for that light. It's going to yeah. be nothing but darkness out here. It's. You know, it's too late. It's too late. The fair <clears throat> word is it's too late, man. And yeah. it said the prudent should keep silence in that time. Mm -hmm. Back in Isaiah 55 and 7, it said, To our power, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said why, the Lord. Why are he bringing judgment to the Why would God do this? Right. Can't question the most high, man. Right. Right. <laughs> For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain coming down and the snow from heaven, and return of not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, 
that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Mm -hmm. So everything has a purpose. Right. You know, there's a purpose over the time for wickedness to and, and folly be pushed in the earth, but now the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, isn't holding his tongue anymore concerning their wickedness, which they profanely commit. You know, neither we suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Right? So now he sent forth his prophets, and we're we not out there for no reason. Right? The brother read the scripture, acknowledge the Lord before it's too late. What do you have to acknowledge? The Heavenly Father's authority, power, and might that he has in all the earth. You know, and you need to uh, uh, acknowledge that. Are you gonna uh, face the terrible <clears throat> judgment that's coming? You know, World War Three, ICBM nuclear destruction. Right. You know, you being faced with a micro C hip. You know, and then uh, if you take it, you're gonna be uh, caught up in the lake of fire, which is that n nuclear destruction. World War Three. Yeah, that's right, bro. Oh, uh, that that part you read about the mountains, mm -hmm. the darkness. Go back there real quick. Because with him, with him saying, what you saying about the MOTB, you know, that's something that's going to be mandated by the government. We know that the mountains represent government. But see, the distractions, as we are here prophesying about this MOTB, the mm -hmm. big chip imps being mandated, that's light. That's light. But all of the distractions and everything else that's going on in the media and social media and Instagram and Facebook and the sports and Yep. All this bullshit going on that you said in such high uh, regards, you yeah. know, this this means the, these things mean the world to you. Yep. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Meanwhile, what's happening in the world has become something of uh, it's like it's it's a fairy tale. It's like what's going on in the world is not really going. Oh yeah, that ain't nothing. You know, right. yeah, Russia and Ukraine and. U.S. and Yemen and <laughs> soldiers dying and yeah. you know mm -hmm. the dollar collapsing. Oh, that's not really a reality. Right. To but see, that's why I was saying uh, to the bus from Nashville during the New Year's Eve of destruction. Like when you really look at the way that the men of the Lord and the prophets operate, we operate in a different realm. In January, the first of the year, everybody's making what they call a resolution. A resolution means another solution. So year after year, they're trying to find another solution. Mm -hmm. Another the, the word re means again. Mm -hmm. But the men of the Lord know that there's only one solution. Right. And we ain't switching up. Right. We ain't, yeah. we ain't, you know, we're not trying to find out what's the next best thing. We're not looking for the next thrill, like you said, uh, yeah. Uh, when they they uh, they go from one wickedness to another, another wickedness to another, because they not they no longer have pleasure in the things that they were doing before, you know. So they just move on over to the next thing. Meanwhile, we are bounding in the works of the Lord, so that we can ultimately get salvation, and that's the only solution. Oh, that's yeah. the only solution. Yeah. What, what they want now, Donald Trump. That's yeah. it. They, don't know what they, uh, want. Uh, they want to go back to yeah. that. Yeah, they yeah. back to now they want to go back to Trump. Yeah. Hey, it, was, it was better in Egypt. Yeah, yeah. Let's, <laughs> go Let's, go Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. We had food. We did. We had this. Then, you know, Jason. We had stimulus check. Let's go back, man. We need. To, we need that again. Hey, and if I may add, they let you know that the scriptures, man, who you're jumping off, they be real because everybody really just lovers of themselves. Yeah. yeah, it's only for your. The reason why you want things to prosper because it's off your selfish personal gain. Yeah, yeah. it's not. I want to got nothing to do with the Lord. Yeah. Just, I just want. It's me. I, I want to see my baby graduate. Right. Yeah, you know. I want two females. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I want just everything. Yeah. Just about you. Selfish reasons. Yeah. Right. yeah, it's not. It's not about fulfilling the Lord's will. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead. I now read that part again, and we're gonna go back. Cause it's a. Uh, it say, um, give glory to the Lord, Jeremiah 13 and 16, you know, see, <clears throat> give glory to the Lord, your power before it is too late, acknowledge him before he brings darkness upon you, uh -huh. causing you to stumble and fall on the darkened mountains. On, a, on the darkened mountains, right? Because we understand what the, the mountains represent government. So the way that these, uh, Edomites, because they're really the chief of the of mountains, the chief of the nations. The way these Edomites are running society, right? 
is going to cause you to fall because they are running a society with darkness. Mm -hmm. They are constantly throwing out witchcraft and enchantments, and you are following along with it. You're going to fall following the, the, the wicked, man. Yep. Hey, like the, uh, they changed the script up for the NFL hey, now. Come on, right? man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. They, they changed that shit up, yeah. so now they, they got no trust they're going to fall for it now. That's that they're going to fall for it. <laughs> yep. That was it. Oh. I wanted to make that point. Go back up. Isaiah 55 and 11. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be they go forth out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it. It shall prosper mm -hmm. into the thing where I sent it, man. You know? Because at the end of the day, only the elect are going to get it. Only the elect are going to prosper in the word and the judgment of your heart, boss, and your heart side. Because, uh, like the scriptures say in Ecclesiast Ecclesiasticals, I think that's the first chapter. Uh, uh, brother, grab it real quick. Uh, about uh, it was made with the faithful in the womb. Uh, uh, Sarah, 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 one, one in, uh, uh, let's see. fourteen. Yeah, we got it. Don't bring it up. Uh, this Sirach chapter one verse fourteen to the fear to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, mm -hmm. and it was created with the faithful in the womb. Is it more? Uh huh. Go ahead. And she have built an everlasting foundation with men, and she shall continue with their seed. Mm -hmm. See the seed. She shall continue with their seed. That's that wisdom. That she is that wisdom, yeah. right? So yeah. we go back to Isaiah fifty five again. What did it say? This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. Mm -hmm. It says, So shall my word be that go forth so out of this my word, mouth. So this word is like a seed, mm -hmm. right? This word is, 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 is likened to a seed. That's why you get the parable of the, uh, the sower and the seed sown by the wayside. We're the source, right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're sowing in the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh right? Go ahead. Can I start at 10 for you? You want to go back 10. to 10? Yeah. Go ahead. Isaiah 55 and 10. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not to them, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. That it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Go ahead. And so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. So the Lord told Isaiah that's how his word is going to be. they coming forth out of his mouth. Right? He's going to give seed to the soul. Go ahead. It shall not return unto me void. Yep, it's going to bear fruit. Go ahead. But it should accomplish that which I please. It's going to accomplish all of the Lord's judgment. Go ahead. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. It shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. And that's going into the lake, the faithful ones. Yep. Okay? Go ahead, I know. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> We're going to get into this article a little bit. You had something, bro? Nah, nah. Right. Oh. Yeah, if I may just say a quick one, just backing up Isaiah. Oh, yeah, go ahead. This is um Isaiah 34 and 16. Yep. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. That's right. And when you look at that word read, it means to understand what you're reading. That's right. Everyone got a Bible in their hand. Yep. You know, you got TikTokers, and they're bringing out, oh, this is what the rivers of Euphrates, the book of Revelation talks about the, the four horsemen. But now the true prophets of Yahweh by Shema are out here to give you the correct understanding That's of what's right. coming and what really makes sense in the world. Yep. This is um, Isaiah 34 and 6, 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, no one of these shall fail. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the prophecies, the prophecies are not going to fail. Like bro is going into, the Heavenly Father has authority in a, a heavenly host behind his word. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know? It says, no one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it have commanded, That's it. and his spirit it have gathered them. That's it. So the mouth of the Lord, which are the holy prophets, you know, is it, 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 speaking these things into existence. Yeah. Right? And it's gathering the, the believers, it's gathering in the elect, those yeah. men chosen from the foundation of the earth mm -hmm. to believe on this word. That's, That's right, it. Bro. That's it. Go ahead, go ahead, I know. 
Okay, well, you want me to start it? Okay. Yeah, this, this is really just verse 1. It's just verse 1, yep. Okay. <clears throat> this Hebrews 12 and 1, in the God's Word translation, uh -huh. since we are surrounded by so many examples of faith. Yeah, since we are surrounded by so many examples of faith, right? How are we surrounded? The men of the Lord all around us, mm -hmm. right? Throughout the four corners of the earth. So wherever we turn, as men of the Lord, we're supposed to be watching. As we're watching, we seeing whatever whatever we don't see ourselves, the next brother saw it. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. So we, we, we got nothing but examples mm -hmm. of the Lord's judgment constantly going out. Mm -hmm. There's no excuse. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. Since we are surrounded by so many examples of faith, we must get rid of everything that slows us down. Uh-huh. Especially sin that distract us. Especially sin that distract us. Yeah. Now anything that you give your mind over yeah. to more than the most high is a sin. It becomes sin. Yeah. Because yeah. it's slowing you down from your ultimate goal. Your mm -hmm. ultimate goal is supposed to be seeking the Lord and obtaining salvation. Yep. That's right. We're supposed to be uh talking about yeah, the Lord to our, to, our, to the family. We're supposed to be Oh, no, no. When, we, when we eat dinner, you know, we talk about doing something, you know, amongst the, you know, you had a, you know, your, your wife, the children. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Lord wouldn't want us to do that, though. Yeah. Oh, the Lord, the Lord blessed that, you know. Yeah. The Lord be well pleased with you doing that. You mm -hmm. got to act, we're supposed to be, the Lord is there with us. Yeah. 24-7, you know. And we're a holy people. Every conversation we have, the way we carry ourselves, everything we do was as if we're here to please the Lord, you yeah. know. That's the, the chosen nation, the, the nation of Israel. That was supposed to be how we lived on the earth. And we're coming back into that glory. Yep. That's what it says in 2 Peter. Uh, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? That's right. Looking for and hastening to the coming of our Lord. You know, that's what your conversation mainly should be about. Mm -hmm. That's what your mindset and your focus should be steadily meditating upon. You know? You got it, bro. I got the definition of distraction. Uh, uh, he already oh, he got he it. Already yeah, that's great. But yeah. he, he, got, he finna get it, too. Okay. Yeah, he finna, he right. finna get uh, the rest of the verse. Because it, 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 I use that translation specifically because it's, it's it actually uses the word distraction. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. They say we must run the race that lies ahead of us and never give up. Uh huh. Yep. You know? Yeah, did you see just where you at? Uh, read the distraction part again. Oh, uh, read that part again. Yeah. It says, oh, you had already read that part. Okay, so lock. Yeah. It says, since we are surrounded by so many examples of faith, we must get rid of everything that slows us down, especially sin that distracts us. Yeah. We must run the race that lies ahead of us. And never give up. Yep. Especially seeing that distracts us. Right? So things that keep you so occupied uh, that you don't uh, tap in with the Lord. That you don't, you know, you don't flourish in the spirit. Mm -hmm. That keeps you from abounding in the spirit. Because remember, we're running a race. And in the race, you know, you have to keep a particular pace in order to win. Like right. this is a marathon. Right? Yeah. So you it's an endurance race. Right. So you you gotta keep a particular pace. You can't you can't just slow down yeah, and stop yeah, and get yeah, yeah. caught up with you know so the scriptures say no man that war to entangle himself with the affairs of this world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so you don't wanna get caught entangled means to get caught up. Yeah. Yeah. If I may add um because it said um so that you mean what what was that last part that talked about never giving up? Yep. Yeah. We must run a race that lies ahead of us and never give up. Yeah, so uh, keeping your eyes single on the prophecies, paying attention to what actually is going on, you know, keeps you in the solitude mindset. The troops are, are come rolling in. That's right. You know, you got to remember, this is your enemy rolling in on you. Yep. You know, this this plan that Esau Edom has is to destroy, you know, our people. Yep. That's why the scriptures say, arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast them, cast them down, deliver myself from the <laughs> wicked, which is thy sword. That's it. You know? So Esau Edom has this plan, but through persistence and perseverance, you know, a man never gives up. 
That's right. You know, he, he keeps moving forward because his eye is single on that prize and, and what the ultimate goal is. We have a reason why we're suffering. Yeah. We ain't just going through this hell for no reason. Yeah. No, I, I'm getting better. I'm getting stronger. I, I The light at the end of the tunnel is getting brighter yeah. as Yahweh Shai, you know, as Yahweh Shema Shai reveals these prophecies more That's and more. It. That's it, bro. <clears throat> okay. Con, this is... um. Distraction in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, it says something that distracts an object that directs one's attention away from something else. Shit, what the bigger distraction now we're talking about is uh, Megan and uh, 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 Nick yeah, Nicki Minaj, Megan, 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 Megan Stallion, yeah, drama, yeah, yep. <laughs> you know, yep. it was War Three. It's about to come. Yep. The crisis at the border in Texas. Yep. A lot of shit happening. Yep. So these are need these distractions. Yeah. No, but niggas do that every day. They yep. just start beefing, they, but they just start reporting about it. Mm -hmm. You know, you think uh, this thing over here and this celebrity over here don't be arguing on Twitter. Yeah. But now they just finally starting to blow it up. Yeah. You know, because like you said, they need more of a distraction. Well, Esau he dictates what topic. Is trending. Mm -hmm. He controls the media, so he decides. Okay, what's gonna be the next big story? Okay, we know we're funding this war. We're funding that war. We setting up, you know, uh, the MOTB. We're setting up this because uh, the whole thing is the global reset, the new world order agenda. Yeah, that's that's his, his enterprise. Yeah. So his enterprise. It says that. Uh, He's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be in straits, yeah. right? So he's actually trying to figure out how to pull this shit off without people really, without being exposed, right? Because yeah. because everybody see like you know he's been exposed for the longest, but yeah. now even more so than ever because of the prophets and because of the Lord's word increasing. Yeah. Everybody is watching, you know. We got our eyes on him. So even even so much as telling the people, look, this shit is a distraction. Yeah. This is what really going like right now. This is a part of us pulling down the veil. Yeah. You know, pulling back the veil rather from over our people's eyes. Look, this is what really going on. That shit don't matter. You need to stop putting all your attention into this bullshit and look at those, what's going on over here yeah. in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. <laughs> look at what's going on over here in Babylon the Great. Yeah. This, this is what's about to happen. They're going to pull a draft on you motherfuckers. Yeah. Look, we just told you that 400,000 soldiers got put to death in Ukraine. Right. And they talking about NATO doing a drill with 90,000. What the fuck is 90,000? Did you hear what they said? They just killed 400,000 motherfuckers. Right. So what does that mean? You niggas about to have to get drafted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You niggas about to have to get drafted, man. I just got a motherfucking uh, email with some military recruit. I got an email right now. That kiss my ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I leave this bitch. Right, you right, take right. this shit. <laughs> I ain't going. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's, it's in, in, in the military, American military has a major recruiting crisis, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah people not following for so like, no, bro. especially the Navy. Oh, oh yeah, people yeah. Don't oh yeah. Realize the American dream is like it's 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 bullshit. It's bullshit. All of that you going in to get a a, a charger, <laughs> right, go yeah. get a Dodge Charger and and, yeah, and then Camaro, a Camaro, Camaro or something, man. No, yeah. that shit ain't working no more, man. <laughs> Trying to use to pay a college tuition, right? right. Yeah. You got something though? I got it. Um, why you said that, Joe? You, but no, we don't gotta get it. Yo, I want him to yeah. get into the article. Yeah, let's you know get what I'm saying? Yeah. Get into this article. Yeah. Uh, uh, it just said amusement. Oh, yeah, go ahead then. Okay. Come on, that's beautiful. Yeah, go uh, ahead. It says a thing that, that perverts. What's your source, Salah? Uh, it's just uh, the new Oxford American Dictionary. Okay, go ahead. Uh, it says uh, a thing that perverts someone from giving full attention to something else. It said perverse. Perverts. Per perverts. Oh, prevent. Sorry. Oh, prevent. So, uh, yeah. I, I just, uh, yeah. It's a thing that prevents 
someone from giving full attention to something else. Yeah. Extreme adaptation of the mind or emotions. Uh, that, that, that can be the woman. We always say that, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. We yeah. always yeah. say yeah. that. The woman <laughs> is the biggest damn distraction it is, Jeez, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you just, your mind, Apostle Kabar just wanted to listen on that. Uh, you, hey, the woman, man, you got to be focused on what we're dealing with right now. We're, this is a time of war right now, man. Yeah. All right? But a lot of people can't see it. They Jeez. can't see what's going on because what? They distracted with the bread and circus. They distracted with 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 uh, uh Valentine's, Valentine's. You yep. distracted trying to make make income money. Tax. You know, tax <laughs> income season. tax. Right. And then and then number one thing you got the you got your woman, man. Jake chasing chasing tail, man. Yep. You know. Hey, and then uh, the book of Judith that shows you how powerful a woman is. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They stop fighting. I'm about to stop fighting. <laughs> 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 Middle of the damn battle. Nigga right in the middle of chopping nigga head yeah, off. <laughs> Damn, yeah. that's that's crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's right though. Yeah, she was turning heads. She was turning right. heads. But hey, we gonna we gonna get it. Go ahead, bro. Uh, <clears throat> I'm finna read from this article. J. Karishan.medium.com. It goes into bread circuses and capital. Unre unrevealing the distractions of power. Un un uh unraveling. Unraveling yeah. the distractions of power. Yeah, unraveling the distractions of power. Alright, read kind of read through it. Okay. It's kind of lengthy, so we're gonna we're gonna read through it. Just listen up. We got some good points though. Go ahead. Throughout human history, the art <clears throat> of maintaining social order and controlling public sentiment has been a recurring theme in the governance of empires and society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From the ancient civilization to modern nation states, leaders have sought to keep their populace content mm -hmm. and subdued through various means. Subdued. Go ahead. One such method famously employed by the Roman emperors was the concept of bread and circus. Right, and America ain't nothing but modern day Rome all over again, mm -hmm. right? It's the new Rome 2.0, the new Roman Empire 2.0. Go ahead. This strategy involved providing <coughs> the masses with basic sustenance and captivating entertainment to divert attention. Now what the scriptures talk about, because victuals uh, are good cheap uh, on there. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so, so, yeah. So, grab that real quick. And you like you had something you was about to go to. You got um, it. If I may, uh, I'll, I'll just quote it. Uh, Solomon said, uh, "There's nothing better for a man but to eat and to drink and be merry." Grab that if you can find you it. Know, yep. okay. That's it. Yep. This is you gonna bring it up? Yeah, because when you eat, yeah, you can get that. Because okay. the one thing about uh, eating, and and America is a very uh, obese and gluttonous society. Eating releases a drug called dopamine. So when Jake eats, uh, a lot of these foods have these different GMOs that appeal to that that uh, that dopamine that you have. You like you need to release that, and that what makes you want more. Like you just want, like man, I want yeah. more. I want more. And he also puts uh, things in the food, like you know how like back in the day you had a good meal. And you be like, oh, it, it's real good. But then, like, if you go for seconds and you start getting full, it don't taste as good. It don't taste as good. Yeah, yeah that's your body. That's, that's your body telling you that you're full. You're full. You had enough. You yeah. had enough. But now these foods, oh, damn, everybody. Nah, everybody, you want everybody. more. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, the those GMOs make you uh uh make you produce parasites that don't tell your brain that you're full. Those mm -hmm. parasites just tell your tell your body that give me, give me more, give me more, give me more. They ain't satisfied. They ain't never satisfied. That's why what we got big Shirley's walking around. She is. Shit, man. Mm -hmm. Then they think they big sexy. Man, right. go ahead, bro. 
Also talks about how uh ah I escaped. Go ahead, bro. This is um the whole bit um dealing with the signs, the men of the Lord for signs and wonders, yes, you it. know, in Israel. Yeah. For me, that was something that you know I was looking for for as a personal testimony. And when once I saw the men on the video who were out on the highways and hedges, the Lord that just but a spark me saying, that's it. Those are the men of the Lord. Oh, yeah. It say, uh, I will, he said in Habakkuk, uh, I will work a work yeah. in your day. Yeah. I can't. I'm still uh, on. I get it. Yeah. 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 That would be yeah, told of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, that's a tough one. Yeah. I think it's Habakkuk 1 and uh, 5. five. Got yeah. It. Got it. Yeah. Uh, Habakkuk 1 and 5, behold ye among the heathen in regard and wonder marvelously. Yep. For I will work and work in your days which ye would not believe, so it be told you. So it be so told, told to you. you. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So like your brother said, have your way, Lord. Mm -hmm. No, we told him. Yeah. And, and, and just like we putting our hands up. That's that's the Lord say, yeah. I don't see no blood on him. Yeah. You good? Yeah. You good? You did what I told you. Yeah. Hey, that's how uh, Jeremiah was. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Jeremiah was in that spirit. Look, Lord, I, I stood out there. I I, I played yeah. for him. I did what you told me. So now, Lord, have your way. Have your way. Remember they child up to famine. Mm -hmm. All right. right. Then women get ravaged. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know. That's how it is. Hey, but you know what? We keep yeah. making that. We keep making that uh, mockery of the Jake <laughs> and the church that did that shit. Right. But when you really think about it, the scriptures say that we're gonna be baptized with fire and with the Holy Spirit. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we understand that the fire represents the affliction. Yeah. Jacob's trouble is the fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have your way, Lord. <laughs> you finna baptize you niggas. Yeah. Right. You finna baptize you niggas in the fire. And guess yeah. what? You being baptized in the fire without the Holy Spirit Ooh. is going to destroy your ass. See, uh -huh. this is the difference between the men of the Lord being baptized with the fire and you niggas and you heathens being baptized with the fire. We going to have the Holy Spirit, Lord will, and that's going to keep us from being destroyed by the affliction. You niggas going to be just getting your ass towed up. Uh -huh. That's all right. We're, we're going to the battle with... Armor with the on. full armor, these niggas just roll naked, up, mm -hmm. just like naked. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Hey, they go to the battle field, hey, like looking around, like hey, they, they see. Hey, hand them a sword. Hey. Here you go, man. We fighting. The Lord finna <laughs> have these angels out here walking these niggas around the block like Nino Brown did the uh the landlord yeah, of the yeah, project. Yeah. <laughs> That's how uh, angels, angels finna be walking yeah. niggas through judgment like that. Right, right. But nigga. Hey, what's it fat, boy? Uh, yeah, you know, fat, you put your clothes back on. Ooh. This high is gonna go down. <laughs> you would have been a promise. Yeah. <laughs> this high is gonna go down. This high is going down, man. <laughs> 
No, y'all got to go. Let me finish this. It says, Second uh, <coughs> Corinthians 16 and 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Yeah, because Jack can still take his ass to Taco Bell, McDonald's, and Wendy's and order off the fucking dollar menu. You know, that ain't nothing. That cool shit. You know, they talk about inflation here. I still yeah. go spend five dollars and give me a good meal. Yeah, that's right. I got uh, Timmy. Was it this? Yeah, Timmy. Timmy. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> just don't get it. They get right. all the deals. Yeah. Yep. You know, damn, you know, you gotta go to this website for the Black Friday sales. Yeah, you gotta, mm-hmm. wait, oh, you gotta wait for Cyber Monday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> still right after Christmas sales. Right. Yeah, okay. And I'm gonna tell you it's another thing they got going on. They giving out, they still been giving out these little subsidi- subs, what they call it, subsidizing, subsidizing uh, loans, or really uh, they giving out a lot of little extra little money on the side. I've been seeing. I was like, oh, okay, so Jay still. Getting these little, which a lot of people don't know about it, and it ain't happening everywhere, but it's still a lot of little funding money that's going out. Still a lot of little, you know what I'm saying? Really, it's mercy from the Lord. But also, it's a distraction because what the scriptures say in uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, uh, a gift destroyed the heart. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Surely oppression make it the wise man mad. Mm-hmm. Gift destroyed the heart. Gift destroyed the heart. Yeah. You know? Right. So Esau still he still running that same little scheme, you know. Uh because I was reading another article. Uh they was trying to uh convince people that uh pretty much they were saying America's not in a recession. She okay. Mm-hmm. We're gonna see. Well go ahead, bro. This is it says uh, that they think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon earth. Even then shall evils grow upon earth. You got it. Sword, famine, and great confusion. That's it. Yep. And this that year, man. Great oh, yeah. Great this, 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 this that year, this that year where confusion is going to be at an all time high, man, because you got the election. Yeah, you got all these different uh, uh wars going on. So because really the, the, the election, the campaigns and stuff don't really pick up and get real uh serious until like July, all like after the fourth, like yeah. July, yeah. August, September. Then they start getting real mm-hmm. serious, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then you know this is gonna be an Olympic year too. They're gonna have the Olympics in uh Olympics. Yeah, yeah, the Olympics you know, gonna LeBron, be in. Uh, this shit gonna be in Paris this year, yeah. somewhere like it's gonna be. It's gonna be in a major. I think it's gonna be in Paris. That's yeah. folly for real. That's folly. Oh, yeah. right. right. They gonna right. have the Olympics. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. So, See, distractions. So, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Distractions. distractions. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, when you go in these major cities, one <clears> one block be nice, the next block be the hood. Yeah. You know, telling <laughs> you like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 he saw, you know, he's just going to be like, he's going to set up the Olympics right next to the damn Right next war. to the wall. <laughs> yeah. Right, right next to the damn wall. <laughs> Shit. Hey, can I get this in Isaiah? Yeah, come, come on, bro. He's going to go back to the article to listen some more. Come this on, is man. Isaiah 24 and verse 10. It says, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up. That no man may come in. Yep. Mm-hmm. There is a crime for wine in the streets. Yep. Hey, it says confusion is Babylon the Great Mail. Yep. Yep. You got no idea. It says that crime for wine, meaning it's going to be a crime for comfort. Like, because wine is, 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 a, is, a, is a drink that you uh, take for comfort. Yeah. All right. So, understanding is also a part of that wine. Gonna be a cry. For, it's gonna be a cry for uh, comfort and understanding. Because when things are chaotic and confusion is going on, yeah, people want understanding. Makes it oh, okay. So this just that. This is you know, uh, this just happening because of this. Mm-hmm. Or this just happening. Oh, okay. I see why this is going on. Yeah. So that's that comfort, knowing it's half mm-hmm. the battle. Yep. But see, <laughs> they ain't gonna be able to understand what's going on right. because right. the times where it was. Uh, set up out here for them to know what was yeah. going on, which is now mm-hmm. the word of the Lord explaining everything. Yeah. 
They didn't accept it. They yeah. rejected it. They despised it. And that's why the yep, that's why second elders say what it say about those mm-hmm. that despise his word. Yep. Yep. They're they gonna be in a pitiful case. A pitiful mm-hmm. case. So we gonna especially a lot of women, man. We we see that clearly. Oh, like like that pride is gonna get dropped. I mean uh, 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 like lightning drop yep. hit the ground. It's just gonna instantly boom. Yep. You ain't no more pride because you ain't you ain't gonna have shit out here. What what reason you got to be proud, you know, when 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 everything around you is falling to pieces? Yeah, that nigga was singing that that, that stupid ass song mm-hmm. talking about the bitch need to be walking around with her head in the air and shit. Uh, you remember that song? I can't remember. The nigga, you talking about? Uh, he was trying to talk. He was trying to like talking about a woman looks so good. You, she's supposed to have a nose in the air. Man, it was a stupid. I couldn't stand that fucking song, man. Yeah. But I'm glad I forgot it. <laughs> 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 I'm glad I forgot yeah, it, man. I, I, I couldn't stand like that either. goddamn you, song. You explain me. <laughs> it says, uh, this is Isaiah 24 <laughs> and 11. There's a crime for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened, and the mirth of the land is gone. Yep. Mirth of the land is gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be no more folly, man. It's it, it gonna be time to get real. No right. more social media. Yeah, oh, this this one of the <clears throat> um, the biggest woman and women get on social. No, yeah. Insta, yeah. Snapchat. They like their attention. Yeah. You know, when ain't no more attention to deal with. Yeah. What are you gonna do when the trucks stop? You know, mm-hmm. these major cities when the when the trucks stop, yeah. when the wheels uh, stop rolling on the trucks. Where are the food gonna? Where where do you, well, what are you gonna eat? Yeah, big I don't know how medicine. Hunt. Yeah. 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 A lot of people about to go cold turkey too, man. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. cause they say the reason force. they say the reason why people can't get off of these um you know hardcore you know opioid you know on skid row is because uh the withdrawals you know at the third and fourth day you know just all that stuff filtering through your body and getting out of your system you know so people gonna be. Throughout here, yeah, just keep yeah. calling you, man. Man, yeah, man. That's how it's gonna be. Yeah, yeah. got that GMO pookie. foods, yeah. GMO foods, right? Withdrawals with that too. Um, that um, sugar. Ready, ready to kill somebody over a Big Mac or, 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 like you said, a piece of cake or something. Mm-hmm. I got a, uh, one precept about it's nothing better. This is Ecclesiastes two and twenty four. There is nothing better for a man than <clears throat> that he should eat. And drink, and that he should make his soul enjoy the good of his labor. This also I saw that it was from the hand of the Most High. And, um, you know, dealing with the whole government, you know, ruling and governing the people, you know, it's, it's meant to be in righteousness, you know. The, the, the government is meant to provide for the people, you know, so they can be happy. So that there is nothing to rebel about. But Esau, even he's using it in deception as he wants to take more of your rights away and push you, basically push you in hardcore captivity, you know? So he's doing it in, in a wicked way. Right. Yeah, I'll write the decrees. Hey, so like 10 and 1 or 2. You know, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I wanted too. Oh, that's the spirit. I wanted, I, wanted, I wanted that too. I was just thinking about that. That's the spirit. Uh-huh. Yeah. You want to get this article? Yeah, let's get the article. Then we'll pick back up with that. Yeah. Back in the article of Bread and Circus, Captivating Entertainment to Divert Attention. Yeah, Captivating Entertainment to Divert Attention. You know, like the brothers talking about Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion beefing, you know. Go ahead, bro. From underlying social and political issues. Yeah, to distract you from underlying social and political issues. Yeah. Right? Like, now... When you look at the views of a topic like Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion beefing versus the topic of what's going on on the Texas border and the uh, uh, the looming civil war that's on the rise concerning that issue, the views for Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj gonna be about a million more. Yeah. Yeah. Just two hoes fighting. Just two, oh, yeah, two hoes fighting about nothing. Yeah, right. people love you know, little shit, bro. Go ahead. Who got the biggest BBL? Right. You know. <laughs> From underlying <laughs> social and political issues, strikingly parallels can be drawn between this historical practice and certain aspects of the <clears throat> modern capitalism. 
Yep, go ahead. Where the pursuit of the profit of consumerism often intertwined with the provision of mass entertainment and distractions. Mm -hmm. Let's delve, delve into the intriguing. Let's dive. They got D E L V E. Oh, go ahead. Dale. They got Dell on that. Okay. Which is big science time. Go ahead. Into the intriguing. Connections intriguing, between, intriguing, intriguing, intriguing connections between the ancient art of bread and circuses mm -hmm. and the dynamics of con contemporary yep. capitalist socialists yep. and examining how the pursuit of wealth and the need for the social stability may intertwine to shape the narratives of power mm -hmm. and See, influence. That, and that's what it's all about. Yeah. To 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 uh Establish power. The bread and circus is all a distraction to establish power. Right. Mm -hmm. And the number one thing they need is to continue to have power over the masses of the people's mind. Because as long as they can control your mind, they can make their moves without all of the uh, pushback. Yeah. You know, yeah. the yeah. resistance. Yeah. yeah. Like, like whoa. <coughs> this is wrong 2.0. It's wrong 2.0. This sounds like, um, what, smoking? Ease your mind. Yeah, yeah. Just like, Stimulate your mind, yeah. man. <laughs> I was just gonna say, just like that, uh, the the C nineteen that came out, they they were the ones to tell you you should be afraid of this invisible enemy. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And this is this is the solution we got right yeah. here. Yeah. To to uh, prevent you yeah. from getting sick. And this is how they not not what the Lord gave you in your body. Yeah. Uh, you know your immune system. Oh. Now you. you need that you yeah. gotta take this the media said take it yeah. but like a yeah. lot of co-workers you know that had took it they they were saying they doctor we not giving that medical advice right. they were saying they doctors were telling them don't take it uh -huh. don't take the second one uh-huh don't take it don't take it this is what they doctors i don't know was telling them don't do it yeah because this society promotes you looking without for answers right. you know where you're supposed to look within you know and that's the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai is supposed to be something within us. Right. Right? Because mm -hmm. um, they were dealing with the um, consuming, you know, constantly consuming things for, you know, grab, you know, to be satisfied. Basically, you know, that's how I uh, comprehended it. Right. Yeah, that's what social media promotes. You know, when you look at, a, a, you know, a commercial for a coffee shop, but then when you actually go there and you get a cup of coffee, you're just like, oh, this, this, this is, I can make this at home. Right. You know, but it makes you think, I need to spend $7, $10 on that coffee cup because it's I say say Starbucks. Because it says right. Starbucks on it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Or oh, Big Mac. Yeah. You can just make the burger at home. Man. Man. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. It said narratives of power <clears throat> and influence in our modern world. Mm -hmm. It say in the chronicles of human history, few empires have left as profound a mark as the ancient Roman Empire. Right. It says few, empi few empires have left as profound a mark as the ancient Roman Empire. Because mm -hmm. the ancient Roman Empire was the most sophisticated except uh, for this empire today, which is nothing but an extension of the ancient Rome. You know, mm -hmm. they, they had uh, the people's minds like no other empire. Oh. Go ahead. Spanning over a millennium, this mighty civilization forged its legacy across vast territories, yep. shaping the course of Western civilization mm -hmm. for centuries to come. Yep. The Romans were architects, engineers, warriors, and visionaries, creating an unparalleled legacy of governance mm -hmm. and culture. Mm -hmm. The Roman Empire, at the peak of its power, during the Pax Romania, yep. boasted a sprawling do domain that stretched from the Atlantic coast of present-day Portugal and Spain to the deserts of the Middle East mm. and from the northern reaches and of the sound now, Don't that sound familiar? Yeah. You know, when you look at how America's empire stretches, you know, it said from, from Spain to Portugal, which that's a part of the... Uh, Spain and Portugal, that's a part of the uh, seven heads and the ten horns, right? That's a part of NATO and the EU. And then it said uh, to the Middle East, 
Go ahead, bro. And from the northern reaches of England to yep. the sands of Egypt. Yep. This immense territory has home to a diverse array of peoples, languages, and cultures. Right. And that's what you got here in America. It's known as the Great Melting Pot. Because mm -hmm. you got all these different nations. And that's one of the reasons we got that crisis going on down there in Texas. You know, trying to stop. Uh, they trying to have uh, immigrant control, trying to stop different immigrants from coming in and out of the, uh, the country. Yeah. You know, you got it, bro. And if I may say, if people are being raised differently, that's automatically going to bring division and confusion. Yeah. You know, different yeah. uh, ideals on how things should be handled. Mm -hmm. That's never, people can never really live in a harmony and peace if, if that's the case. Yeah, and that's why uh, it's written in your house. Shah stated, uh, if a kingdom be divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. All united under the formidable Roman <clears throat> rule. Mm -hmm. The Roman leaders faced the daunting task of governing an ever-growing population, mm -hmm. balancing the needs and aspirations of their subjects and securing loyalty to the state. In this complex web of power dynamics, the concept of bread and circuses emerged as a remarkable strategy of governance, a strategy that wielded the art of providing both sustenance and spectacle. Yep. The phrase, that's why when you when you when you notice when you watch those uh, Super Bowl shows, it be all these different uh, beer and uh, food commercials. Movies. You know, they showing you they show they they only showing you more uh, entertainment. Uh, advertisement and food advertisement. That's that's the only thing you're gonna see. Yeah. Entertainment and food. Uh, you ain't gonna see. Notice the whole time Super Bowl going on, they ain't gonna be talking about shit about the war. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Ain't gonna be talking shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ain't gonna be talking about nothing serious. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Esau Edom has it down to a science. Yep. You yeah. know, to where even like the the sound of their voice. You know. You know. For me, every time I turn on the news, it, it all sounds the same. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it doesn't sound any different. Yeah. You know, when you watch football, the, those montages they have, the dun dun dun, like everything is everything is meant to captivate you and get That's your it. attention. That's it. That's why they constantly uh, keep changing the screen so you always have something new to look at. You're not constantly just looking, oh, they're just the huddle. You don't see the huddle every time. Yeah. You know, it's it's all it's all meant to, to distract you. That's it. Keep That's your it. mind captivated. That's it. You channel. You got it. The phrase patinum eats uh circus. Yep. Bread and circuses is a encapsulated a political static that secured the compliance of Roman citizens. Yeah. As the it say, it say it secured the compliance. Yeah. Bread and circus secures the compliance. So you, you're going to automatically comply when you're comfortable, when you're entertained. Like, okay, I trust my government. They're going to take care of everything. You know, we got it under control. My team's winning. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And now with technology advancing, you know, for a lot for a lot of Jake, it's the video game. You know, oh, this new system is coming yeah. out. Here it is. You're complaining all day about how you hate your job. And when I get home, I'll get on that game though. You know, when I yeah. get home, I'm gonna do this. You know, your mind, your you watch that show uh, Black Mirror, they show you they show you in that show, I mean, uh, how your your subconscious literally goes into these uh, like phones and screens. If you could record yourself all day just being on your phone for an hour, you know, someone would be like, "What are you doing?" You know, hey, the screen time. They got that in the phone. Yeah, it should be like seventeen hours. Yeah, like, Damn. 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 Yeah. <laughs> hey, when did I put that phone? <laughs> So it's telling you how long you yeah, got to get your phone. Yeah. Go to your sins, put up the screen time. You know, <laughs> when you um, the brothers in that movie, uh, the Terminator uh, Genesis, like mm -hmm. the um, they had traveled into the future, mm -hmm. and they were at a hospital. You know, they're using the technology, 
inside the movie, the characters who are from the past, they're like, oh, they're already in, you know, Skynet, Skynet has already launched, they're already in the system, mm -hmm. and, and you're just like scratching your head, like, what are they talking about? They're already using the, the devices, you know, they're already fully, the, they're already fully dependent on the devices, and that's how our society is already set up, you know? Our people are already fully dependent on these devices. They can't live without their phones. They can't yeah. live without the game. You know? They can't live without television. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. I know it's got it. How much for you get to those list of things? Uh, yeah, this is where it first starts. It's the, yeah, so when you get to the list, don't read the things. Just read the headlines. Just read the different topics. So okay. Don't read... The thing, just yeah, the just thing. read what they are. I guess you got it. Uh, it says, uh, it said, as the empire expanded, it says, so did the necessities of managing its vast populace and preventing unrest. Yeah, preventing unrest that's what it's all about. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. The ruling elite recognized the profound link between the citizenry. citizens. Citizenry, uh, yep, and satisfactions of their unwavering alliance to the state. Mm -hmm. This strategy was employed to maintain social control and political stability. Yep. Mm -hmm. The concept of Padnam East Circus yep. was implanted, implemented through various means to keep the the populace, the populace, content, content, and prevent potential uprisings. Below a few examples. Mm -hmm. Here go the examples. It say the distribution of free game. The distribution of what? Of free grain. Free grain. So uh, they was giving away like food, like grain, right? Go ahead. Gladiator games. Gladiator games. The NFL, the NBA, UFC. the UFC, yep. the boxing. Right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Chariot races. Chariot races. NASCAR. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Public the theatrical movies, movies, plays. Yeah, that's Netflix. Comic yeah. club, comic shows. Cause you think about the word Netflix, it's, it's a net. You know, it's a it's a flick to keep you in the net. That's mm -hmm. why you you constantly just watching and watching and watching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I just play forever. Right. You know, they just recently implemented that. Or are you still watching? Yeah, you know, when you first when you used to first watch Netflix, a movie would just play and play and play. Yeah, right. go from one to the next. Mm -hmm. Jump right into something else. Mm -hmm. so you got it. Go ahead. Public festivals and celebrations. Public festivals and celebrations. You got uh, here you got Africa in April. Yep. Uh what else? You Memphis got in Memphis in May. Mm -hmm. you, know, you got Mardi Gras. Yep. Uh, you know, just all throughout the country you got these different festivals. You know, they have uh, the, like uh, in Paris, Tennessee, they have the world biggest fish fry. Yeah. That's a festival. You know, they have the fairs, the, the carnivals and shit. Hunting um, week. Hunting, yep. Yeah, the hunting season yep. starts. Yep. Yeah, yep. things like that. You know, uh, LGBT week. Oh, boy. That bullshit. Uh, month. They got month. Month. Yeah, all the fucking month. <laughs> you got it, bro. Public baths. Public what? Yeah, that, they, see, that's, that used to be that uh, old uh, side of... Sod the sodomite shit used to go on in the Roman Empire. Is they used to be uh that spirit of Bacchus used to be well, they they still had that shit going on here. Mm -hmm. you know? It was like yep. wild parties yeah, wild shit. parties and orgies and shit. Go ahead. Public works <coughs> projects. Go ahead. And social inequity, uh equal equality. Uh huh. Yep, social e social inequality. 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 Mm -hmm. Economic struggles. Economic struggles. Political corruption. Political corruption. Unrest and rebellion. Yep, unrest yeah. and rebellion. If I may say so, if these struggles, you know, make our people more dependent on the government. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it without yeah. them. I need your help. And yeah. then you come in and help. Them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why they, uh, what they got, uh, what is called problem, reaction, solution. solution. Yeah. You know? A lot of problems they self-inflict on society. You know, they create issues just, to, and that's a distraction. Like they'll do uh, what they call that shit, planned events. Uh, uh, 
like psyops and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, live action uh, experiments. Uh, crisis. Uh, crisis action. Crisis act. You know what I'm saying? They'll have a whole lot of shit going on that was staged. It wasn't even genuine. It wasn't even real. Mm-hmm. You know? Yep. But yep, that was the last one. Uh, uh, uh-uh. it's one. It's yeah, a couple, there. couple more. Okay, that's the Truman Show. Yep, the Truman oh, Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> <laughs> he was knowing too. He was like, man, what the f- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh, he was trying to leave. Right? He was yeah, trying, yeah, to, trying leave. to find there it. There was a. He was trying to drive out, and there was like this waste, like. Oh, sorry, we got blocked up the road. There was a waste spill. Yeah. They wouldn't let them leave the city. You know, so they telling you is as people see things, they 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 gotta keep pu- pushing out these different enchantments. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lies. It says unrest and rebellion, military defeats and lo- and losses, the lack of political rights. That was it. Yep, and the lack of political rights. Yep. Cause that's another thing, like uh, mm-hmm. people always complaining about rights. You know, like uh, a lot of these uh middle class people are complaining about uh, uh, the lack of bread. You know, like they're not able to uh save money and send their kids to college. And, uh, oh, they man. gotta buy the shitty snacks in the store now. They can't get the good snacks. Right. You know, like mm-hmm. you know, so when you look at uh, how the ancient Roman Empire was structured and the things that was going on leading up to its fall, it's the same thing that's going on now. You know? It's the same thing that's going on now with America. Okay. And uh, as brother can get that stand out and die in enchantments, and we'll look at the comic board and see what's on there. Yeah, there's one on there. He wants to show our stand well, well. a couple extra. Yep, we can get something off the comic board. Yeah, right. yeah we did want to rock okay. 10. I got a quick one. This is um, Revelations 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon. Yep. The two horns represent the uh, plebeians and patricians. Which today uh, is the Republicans and the Democrats. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because you, um, you mentioned, you know, the loss of rights, you know, these, uh, these election years, you know, come and say, oh, we're here to give you your rights back. We're going to make sure you have your rights. Yep. Make sure we stay <clears throat> with what you want. Yeah, that's, that's all Trump been talking about. Well, he going to bring back this and he going to do this for you. Uh, he mm-hmm. going to, uh, take away payroll taxes and, huh. you know. Yeah, he been he been speaking, he been talking big shit. Payroll <laughs> tax, everybody yeah. want that taken away. <laughs> hey, hey, you know he always talking about some shit got to do with taxes. Mm-hmm. You know, he know he know for damn sure people want to hear that. Yeah. Take that away. Oh, that was it. Yeah. Just straight to the point. This is the way. Oh, if I meant he spake like a dragon, he came forth like a lamb. Because mm-hmm. everything he's pushing in society is just for your betterment. Mm-hmm. You peace. know, yeah, it's peace, peace. But at the same time. It's pushing forth more draconian measures, more, you know, as he pushed forth his technology, you know, they're showing you about how good it is for you, but how dangerous it can be at the same time. Yeah, he's only giving you one side of the coin. Right. You know? That's right. That's right. You bros got it. Yeah, this is like 10 to 1. A live judge will instruct his people, Mm -hmm. and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Yep. It's the judge of the people is himself. So are his officers. Mm-hmm. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that during their end. Yep. An unwise king destroyed his people. An unwise king destroyed his people. That's Esau Edom. Yep. That's right. All right. He's further proven day after day, year after year, you know, that he's an unwise king. I mean, what are you constantly seeing? The death tolls go up, you know, the fatalities going up. Every year is a new record set of deaths. When you look at the the number one, like the top five things that people die from, you know, cardiac arrest. Shit, abortion. You know, abortion. <laughs> abortions. <laughs> you know, showing you that this man, you know, with all the power and might that he's been given, has dealt unjustly in That's the it. earth. That's it. You know, he had a chance to exude righteousness and have the earth prosper because he's been given the most authority out of all the other kingdoms that came before He's been given more favor than all the other kingdoms. 
Exactly. At this point, his favor outweighs Israel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Because yeah. the time that he's had to rule, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to having the fatness of the earth, uh, he's he's had uh, a more vast empire than Israel has ever had. Mm -hmm. You think about King Solomon. Uh, now, King Solomon had a, a, a very big empire, but you got to think, not compared to Esau Edom, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Esau Edom has had all the way from uh, the Mediterranean Sea, <laughs> you know, all the way over here to the West, you know? Mm -hmm. That that motherfucker the whole didn't have a lot of favor. He The whole earth. The whole earth. Really, yes. the whole earth. The other nations are in league with them. They're yeah. in league with them. Yep. And he, and he really truly sits uh like i say the chief of nations like esau edom america ain't no it ain't never been an empire like america mm -hmm. you know, even though we talk about the ancient roman empire is uh america america's the ancient roman empire all over again but it's even more uh glorious than that you yeah. know it reached a higher glory than ancient rome yeah it says uh babylon is that golden cup in the lower hand uh, it also says, uh, it says uh, Babylon, the glorious of kingdoms. The glory of kingdoms. The glory of kingdoms. Yep, yep. Babylon, the glory of kingdoms. And shit, Esau, Edom was the Romans. He was the Greeks. So, shh, hey. He's been ruling for a while. Man, but it say that faith be shown to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. Yep. You know? That's so, so like 10 and 3. Yep. Yep. Now, you know saying? Yep, go ahead. Okay. It said, an unwise king destroyed his people. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Yep. 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 And see, this uh, this third world's war is going to be the end all of Esau Edom and all of his rulership and all of his wickedness, right? And that's the time where the Lord is going to come and take this man down for good. When we get uh, when we get through. This, this hell right now <laughs> of being under this uh, this devil, you know, this wrath that he's bringing down through the authority of Ha'abashim and Ha'abashah we understand he has the authority to bring that hell when we get over it hey, the Lord's going to exalt us and we're going to have a kingdom that's not going to ever come down we're never going to uh, have to go into subjection or captivity under a, a heathen again, man you got it, bro you yeah. Verse 4, so like 10 to 4, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what we're constantly speaking about. That's what we are going down on the highways and hedges for, starting with the apostles and the elders, for 30 years. 30 plus years. I mean, do people comprehend that labor that Yahweh Shema Shah, and even before them? With all the Bibbins and the men, you know, those uh, uh, elders and bishops, right? How long the Heavenly Father has been proclaiming what he's about to bring. Mm -hmm. You know, these evils that are about to come. So now that we're finally, you know, at the, the telltale end, you know, and about to enter into a time like none other, there isn't going to be any excuses. There isn't going to be any mercy, you know? The, uh, the, uh, the, the Heavenly Father is about to set up a, a profitable judge in all the earth, you yeah. know, and that's going to have to be, that's going to be Yahweh, that's going to be Yahweh Shai, you know, and, and it's going to have to lead to the end of this society, the end of this kingdom. Yeah. What you had? Isaiah 47 and 12. Yeah, yeah, we can pause right there. So, it's Isaiah 47 and 12, stand now. With thy enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, mm -hmm. wherein thou hast labored from thy youth, mm -hmm. if so be thou should be able to profit, and if so be thou mayest prevail. Yep, but you're not gonna prevail. The scripture says there's no enchantment against Jacob. And the strength that you have uh built your kingdom upon, right? Like the scriptures say, woe to the bloody city is all uh full of lies. Uh, and sorcery to pray the party not mm -hmm. you're not going to you're not going to thrive off of that <laughs> I mean you're not you've been thriving but you ain't gonna continue to thrive because yeah. all of the people uh that are of the Lord's elect are going to be uh are going to be delivered from your enchantments 
And that small number alone is all the Lord needs to uh, set up the kingdom of heaven and take you down. Huh? Yeah. No, but y'all got anything? Hey, what I see tomorrow? Oh, what I see tomorrow? <laughs> Can I kind of bring up this one last prayer stuff? Yeah, you got it, bro. This is um Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yep. You know, so these uh distractions, you know, they're meant to occupy your time, you know, occupy your mind, right? Wisdom and knowledge is supposed to be occupying you know, our minds, our times, occupy the prophecies, occupy the prophecies right? The, the wisdom and knowledge of the Holy the holy <coughs> Scriptures, right? Us knowing these things, us understanding these things are, are about to come to pass, us being able to prepare for, prepare for the big fight, you know, we're going to have great success. It's what's going to keep us stable while everyone else is going to be looking for answers, not knowing what the hell is going on, yep. right? And, and it says that's going to be the strength for our, strength for our salvation, right? So that's our that's our strength. That's what's going to lead to our salvation, right? The fear of the Lord is our treasure, you know. That's what we hold deem as valuable. That's that's what we deem as you know something to hold on to and to fight for. The the obedience of Yahweh Shemayosha, following after His ways, the law, such commandments, having faith in Him, right? That's what we deem as valuable. And that's what's going to give us the victory. That's it. All right, so with that, Lord, will you edify it again? All praises on and glory be to the power of Hashem, and I will shout by Hashem of Kabbadash. Home Nasrallah, Home Nasrallah, the ball, rise as well, destroy confusion, Shalom. Shalom. Oh, you saw me say that.